Okay guys, in this video I'll be making the uh, TL1000 reverse tribe, well starting to. So I did a bit of a drawing up on the computer here to uh, get the idea of what I'm actually going to do. I uh, started with a side profile of a Lamborghini and traced it out and uh, hopefully ends up looking something like this. It'll probably end up looking more like the Cybertruck, but anyway. So my boss races Speedway and he gave me one of these tyres that's too worn out for him to race on anymore. So what I've got to do is widen a rim, start with a 15 inch rim, and I've got to widen it enough to fit this big boy on here. So here's the process of doing that. First I start by cutting it off in the lathe. Okay, that's the part now. I've cut it apart with a grinder, I just use the lathe to mark it. And now I need to put 340 mils in the middle. So I'll roll that ring up tomorrow. So I'm back home now. I welded this big band in here. Pretty deep dish now. So I've got to go around and uh, press all this in and tack it together. This gap here should hopefully pull up once I push all the rest of it in. So I've been through and I weld this whole thing off. I actually welded it twice just to make sure it wouldn't leak. What of the inside as well and the seam. Give it a wire brush and I'm just gonna go over it and see if there's any leaks I need to fix. Well, something, anything that I think will leak that I'll fix. And uh, try and mount this big tire on here, which is gonna be interesting. So I've got this wheel to somewhat pump up, but I can't get it to bead. I don't think my compressor is fast enough to actually pop the bead out. It just keeps leaking. But she's nearly, she's nearly on there. It looks good though. I was actually hoping to test this 125cc two-stroke mountain bike, but uh, lockdown's still going, so not allowed to ride motorbikes. So what I'm going to start doing is taking this to bits and laying everything out. So this is the TL1000 1997. Uh, they're 125 horsepower when they first come out, but this one has been off the road for a long time and I'm just gonna take it apart. And this is the motor I'm gonna use. Okay, I gotta make a little stand to sit this on since I'm taking the wheels off. So I'm just gonna cut up this wood, 
put some little wheels on it and make it into a nice stand so I can wheel it around and jig everything up. Okay, so I've made my little stand on wheels here. Now all I've got to do is simply lift the 1000cc motorbike onto the stand. So I'm going to film this because I might drop it. Well guys, that was pretty intense. She almost had me a couple of times, but I've got some straps on now. Got a block under here. And on this side, I've got a couple of blocks under the frame and then another strap and she's pretty good now. So I can start taking it to bits. Okay, I've got it laid out, sort of how it's going to sit. Uh, I'm going to take the forks off and mount a frame down here with a roll cage and suspension and everything. I just pumped the tire up quick, but I can't get it to bead, so it's leaking air out. So I have to sort that out, and I'm going to shorten the swing arm because I have to make a custom swing arm, so that's going to be in a bit. I'll take that back half off the bike. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment about things you think I should do, how I can get this to be better. See you next time.